Welcome back everybody to That Damn Figure Show. I'm your host with the most and I'm back at it with another video for you guys. As promised, I told you guys I was gonna be doing the review for the crucified predator that was in the movie Predators, which I think was a pretty good movie. I mean, obviously not better than the originals, but it was a good predator movie. And I decided to do the figure review on both figures because technically they're the same um, predator. Um, and my lore, it's going to be more like, you know, this is one person. Well, this is one predator and this is the, uh, the other one. Um, my figure is a little too stiff, which I try to heat it up, but it was a little rough and I don't want to break anything. Um, but these parts right here are actually swappable. And this part right here is not from him. This is from the original Jungle Hunter first release Predator that came out. Um, but yeah, I love to try to attempt to customize the Predators because it's it's really, really fun. And if you guys are into the comic books, you know that there's a bunch of different Predators. There's a, um, they have different personalities. They like to wear different types of armor, um, choosing different weapons, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Let's get into the figure review. So, as you can see here, the Crucified Predator comes, aside from the stand that all the Heia toys come with, um, the Predator um, Armored Crucified comes with the Xenomorph, you know, fuck you skull. Uh, and it comes with a pair of closed fist hands, which I love, and, a and one um, open palm, well actually two, two open palms as you can see there. And, and that's it. That's all that he comes with. And um, uh, Crucified Unarmored comes with, uh, which I love, the Broken Mask. Look at this, everybody. Look at this. This is awesome. One of the things I would love to see them try to do is make the... Even though I do like when the Predators, when he releases two versions, one unmask, one mask. Because for me, and those of you that like to try to customize or, or are good at it um i'm not i'm not good at it at all but like it gives you like options like oh i could just take this head off and just use it for whatever but then the body or different type of head you could like mix and match and try to color them yourself and what's unique about this mask here is if you have the other first release predators um, I was just dicking around and like I think it's shaman shaman's uh, mandibles are a little close closer together so you could almost kind of fit the mask on him and it looks pretty cool um and I think if you have the the city hunter um damaged the one when he looked he's missing his arm and, and he has a different mask which I love um that one it this looks like it goes right over his face so it won't stay there it's just you know for whimsies it looks really really cool um he too also comes with he comes with a closed fist as well and uh, open no actually comes with uh i guess this is to hold the uh the bone the the skeleton i think he comes with the skeleton no no this is to hold his mask sorry guys this is to hold his mask so that's how you could pair that up i'll, I'll do it for you right now it's 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 really simple as you can see he holds it holds it perfectly now what i want to do one day um when i get um the next set of uh they're remaking they're re-releasing the jungle hunter but they're remaking it more in this sculpt than the other sculpt which rightfully so because it's bigger um i can't wait for that one to come out I'm, i'll just show you guys So this is the uh, original Jungle Hunter, which I just took the head out and I put a, I put the Guardian Predators mask on because that was the original mask that they were going to go with. So I thought, hey, I have it, so let me try it. So as you can see here, he's a little guy compared to, you know, Big Chubbs over here. So they're re-releasing this guy, but in this sculpt, which is going to be amazing, and stay tuned for that. But that's a jungle hunter, and if you guys are familiar with the comic books, there's a bunch, there's a whole tribe of jungle hunters too. So I would like to get like you know another one of him and like a jungle hunter, and like since there's a bunch of other predators coming out with a similar mold, I just I'm just gonna do head swaps and have my own little um, tribe of jungle hunters, which should be good. 
But yeah, let's get into some some compare. Well, actually, let's get into some articulation. I'm gonna use him because I like that stance that I have, unarmored one. So, this is how he looks. This is how he he's. Uh, you know, I saw some mixed reviews on this guy, and I, and I do think this is what a lot of figures actually is not just exclusive to 118 scale stuff or 124 scale or 112 scale. But like, if you guys are, are if and if you guys are not, uh, you guys should definitely watch uh, Scallywags uh, on YouTube. He's one of my favorite guys I like to watch. But he did a review on Rego um, from Joy Toy, and he had two of them. And if you look at um, his review, uh, the paint washes on it look different. It look it literally looked like yeah, it was obviously the same figure, but the the paint scheme was a little different, like the shadowing and the wash and stuff like that, uh, the dry brushing, it, it was different. So from what I could tell, my Predator actually doesn't have that bad of googly eyes. Some Predators that of reviews that I've seen, which are not many, um, don't have an eye at all. Like it looks like the ink just got in the way, but I got really lucky and as you can see, you could see his eyes, the broken damage mask, which I love. In my lore, his name is damaged. And you can see here, he has a good spread, which Predators don't need to have that much of a crazy spread, but I appreciate it. Um, what I like about the re-tooling um, of the Predators is that they gave them um, two points of articulation on the torso. So you have the upper torso, and then you have the lower torso as well, which I love because you can get him to look up. So when that Queen Alien comes out, you can make them look up like, oh, Jesus. You know, so you have that, uh, you have the double knees, double jointed knees, and, and the the damn ankles are so much better on the re-releases too. So far, you know, I only have uh, two of these guys. Um, I have Celtic coming in in the mail shortly. Hopefully the rest of his brethren, brethren will follow. Um, I'm going to check those guys out too. Hopefully it's the same way. But as you can see here, he has very good articulation the arms he has a little swivel here swivel swivel and um i think it's a I think it's a black sky review where he had he had um um he did a review of this one too and he actually was able to take um the wrist gauntlets off and it was it, it, it was really 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 good i I'm, I'm enjoying it so much so um this is basically the figure he's exactly the same way so if you guys have a chance um i would recommend getting both because then you get the complete package and if you want which i plan on doing i'm gonna take this head off put it on him and i'm gonna have him holding his mask and stuff like that I do a whole bunch of other things but if you get a bunch of these things you can actually take the gauntlets off and customize so stay tuned for that next up is going to be the size comparison so stay tuned for that all right my peeps as promised let's get into the size comparison here we go so i showed you guys earlier this is the original uh jungle hunter minus the uh the mask, I just put a different mask on him from um, Guardian Predator from Predator 2. Um, as well as uh, the City Hunter's little satchel I have here as well. So this is a size comparison with these two. And if you guys know, the earlier stuff is a little harder to stand. So there, there you go. Now, you know, I, I'm a part of a few uh, groups on Facebook and whatnot, and um, I got into a discussion with someone that they were complaining about the height of the Predators in the 118 scale stuff. Uh, what I like to say about that is um, I think it's good enough. I understand what the, what the person was saying. Uh, feels like Predator should be head and shoulders over a human, which I do agree to, to some extent. Um, so if I, I'll, I'll show you here what I'm talking about. So to me, that looks fine. And then the newer version, which is, you know, armored, lost. Look at this. Crucified, I meant. Look, I think that looks fine. And if you watch the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger Predator 1 movie, um, that Predator, I think, was seven seven foot two seven foot five around there and arnold's a pretty tall per like a, a little little taller than average but 
I think it looked fine. Um, I get what the person was saying. He would like the uh, like the predators maybe like like that, which I think that would be good. I wouldn't mind that at all. But for what you know, what we're using them for, and like collecting, customizing, putting dioramas together, I think that works out fine. So this is him next to Figure B from the Skeleton Forces crew, and I love this. Uh, this pair is perfect. Uh, 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 peeps, you have no idea. I really like how this compares to each other. Look at that. Perfect. That looks perfect to me for now. You know, he reminds me of Royce from that movie. All right, let's get you guys another one. Let's do Rigo. Probably, I think a lot of people want to see that. Uh, had him as a guest spot in his review, actually. So, check that out. Again, looks good to me. And Rigo is clearly based off the Terminator, and I've always wanted to see these guys together, so I kind of got my wish seeing seeing it together like this. It would be great if he had tried it. That would be amazing. They did RoboCop already. Might as well do Terminator. I think they're doing Judge Dredd, which is also good. So if you want to see the shoulder-to-shoulder, -shoulder, I guess I should do it the other way around. Grown ass man with these figures is fun. Yeah, that looks good to me. And just to show you, I'm not dicking around. You can see they're, you know, together as they can be without falling over. There you go. Ta da! All right. Uh, get away. And here is his nemesis, which is Berserker, Mr. Black. I love this guy too. I would do a review on the three of them because I have them, but I did see some already. Um, there are not enough he uh, Predator stuff reviews. I have to look really, really hard to find them, um, which is part of the reason why I decided to do this. So I might just do it just for shits and giggles anyway. I'm trying to get him to stand, and usually Mr. Black is good at standing. So, apologize. Come on, guys. You guys are day drinking or something? Here you go one and for crucified armor crucified is his flappers his flappers are his feet they like get loose uh, maybe that's just mine but they get loose on me so as you can see here uh actually i think this scale is definitely off mr black is supposed to be uh not just slightly taller he's like not a lot taller either but i don't know if you remember the movie he was about like he was looking down at him so i would say he should be like about here which you know what in hindsight is still fine this these are magnificently designed figures for this scale like like for me that like he in terms of like the details that they put on the small figures is like NECA to me. And uh, I used to collect the NECA Predator stuff and they're just too big and I, I don't have that much space. And I collect Godzilla stuff as well with the monsters. I'm like, if I'm gonna have big figures, it's gonna be my Kaijus, which those reviews are coming up as well on this channel. But yeah, people, that was it. Uh, before we go, let's show you how he looks just for shits and giggles next to a Hexagear, which I am doing I am definitely going to do a Hexagear versus uh, Giant Size Predators. Um, and this is obviously too big, but the older ones, if you pose them in a, certain, a good certain way, will look nice next to the Hexagear ones. Um, so that stay tuned for that. That should be fun. I, I, I do like painting these guys. So I'll do a figure review on Arnold from the Hexagear line as well. I painted mine, so he's not going to be that orange you know, jumpsuit that he has, but um you guys should enjoy it anyway it'll be nice i have a bunch of other hexa gear stuff and um sentinel stuff but this review is about him so let's end it here people thank you for watching remember to like and subscribe and comment um i'll try to get to the comment section and speak with you guys i i again i enjoy the community and um stay tuned for more if you guys have any ideas um please um put in the comments and and i would read them um i really look forward to seeing those uh stay tuned for more guys peace